across to Mr. Satya Sabarwal. Mr. Sabarwal, you saw some of our ground reports. What do you make of it, sir? See, very simply, I'll start with the very one Latin maxim that reminds me. Dura lex sed lex. Law is harsh, but it is the law. You can't evade the law. You are not above the law. And my learned friend at the panel has raised one question, though he's diverting from the topic, I won't get into that, but he's raised one question that there's no paper or there's no paper which substantiates ED's claim. Well, sir, uh, I'm closely associated with the matter and there is one income tax assessment order which categorically says that the uh, the 90 crore loan which was, which was received and for a sum of 50 lakh rupees, the same uh, the same has been camouflaged by a young Indian and that is why when your in, your entire motive is to camouflage then it will be uh, then you will have the raids and you will have sealment where they will procure documents they will they will, they will go and get into all paper trail uh, uh, get into the uh, in uh, the entire matter and they will investigate and merely uh, if uh, the, the next point that they might raise is well proceeds of crime very simple it uh, the entire purpose of the ED is the focus is that they are uh, looking into the proceeds of crime which are generated mm -hmm. by this illegal takeover of AGL properties yes. worth 2000 to 5 I'm telling you a very reasonable estimate of 2000 to 5000 crore yes the estimates and according to several is surveys this is, is anywhere practice. between 2000 to 5000 crore rupees uh, that's a given you know, we're also picking Absolutely. up more news with regards to the 90 crore rupee. The AGL received 90.8 crore rupees from AICC to revive National Herald. And now the probe agencies are suspecting this as a bad loan. And that's also another angle they want to look at carefully. So